Hello and welcome to Content Patch 7, the quality of life patch for Luck Be a Landlord. Let's get into it. So, we'll start off nice and strong and we'll talk about everything that goes on, the new content, the new features as well. Uh, I'll run through, if you want to actually have a look at the the text-based stuff, I will leave a link in the description. However, feel free to enjoy a standard game that I've just played. You'll actually see some of the symbols that we'll be talking about in the, the following um, video. So enjoy, let's get into it, shall we? So new content, added four new symbols, one common, one uncommon, two rare, added two new items that are common, uh, modified six existing symbols and modified eight existing items, which will be talked to in the game balance. As well as that, within there, there is new features. There are rebindable hotkey options, adding a fast forward button and a lock tooltip, which is lovely. An option to change the speed of the spins, the animation speeds, an option to have the game respond when the buttons are pressed and released instead of just clicking everything. I know some people want to choose and they kind of click and hold and they get worried, but you know, you now have the ability to do that. No problem. Added a reset to default button as well in each of the options menu. Wonderful stuff. So this roadmap for the content patch and the next has changed slightly. Previously, a large amount of time of the effort was devoted to adding a new game mode. Uh, which Dan decided to tease in the Discord. Unfortunately, it won't be getting into Content Patch 7, but it might be not even Content Patch 8, so we'll have to see for that one. However, there is tons of quality of life changes and lots of game balance, so let's jump into that. Empty symbols can no longer appear on screen if a non-empty symbol could appear in its place. This is going to be absolutely amazing for when you just have uh, a metric crap load of things and you know instead of having one of those empties just show up you will always have symbols which is absolutely great players start with 20 empty symbols instead of 25 which i mean pushes it further into the fact that you're going to be able to fill up that board nice and quick and you'll be getting lots of money from it ancient lizard blade now gives an additional coin that's fine and dandy i still wouldn't use it even though it's very rare i am i would i would click it if i have to but i just leave it alone Holy Water now makes his hexes give an additional coin. I don't know if that means it's just not going to stop them from doing anything, but instead it's just going to give us additional coin. I will have to find out and see. Lint Roller now gives 10 coins per removed rabbit fluff instead of 6. Wonderful stuff. I know that some of the things that you get would multiply them and make lots of money, and therefore using Lint Roller could be uh, not very helpful, so this is a good nice change. Red Pepper now gives 5 coins when its effect is treated instead of 3. Mm, easy money, I guess. Nice common uh, upgrade there. Shattered Mirror, Mirror now gives 24 coins every 7 spins instead of 20 coins. I don't know how much 4 coins is going to help me in 7 spins, but you never know. It could be the, the make or break decider. Time Machine now makes golems be destroyed in 2 less spins. Awesome. Very wonderful change. Very nice to be able to have some extra synergy with Time Machine. Time Machine now also makes frozen fossils be destroyed in 5 less spins. Well, I just said synergy for Time Machine would be good, and there's some more. Void Portal now gives 1 coin for every 8 symbol destroyed in game instead of for every 10. I mean, when you get a point in time where you have the Void Portal, you're mainly going into some silly build like I do. And I don't really feel like changing that's going to be too um, negative or positive in any real way. Zara's Contract now makes Bounty Hunters give 20 coins per symbol destroyed instead of 15. Wonderful stuff. Still never going to take it. I mean, unless it's it's a very niche kind of move when you need it. So who, who cares? One of my favorite parts of the changes coming in is Beehive can no longer add bees and has a 10% chance of adding honey instead of 5%. Therefore, we can now have a bear build. Billionaires no longer add spirits when they're destroyed if the player has a shrine item, because we all know it, they have no souls. Bounty Hunters now give 20 coins for each thief destroyed instead of 10 coins. Lovely money, lovely money. Eldritch creatures are sea pickles. They're now buffed by beast masters. Beautiful, th beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely awesome. Uh, Magic Key now has a base value of two coins instead of one coin. Uh, make symbols it destroys give three times more instead of two times more making the magic key actually feel like it's worth it I've already said it before you more, more than likely always have a lock pick during the point in time of having a magic key But if in case you have had a situation where you just skip it a lot or you don't have it yet Having a magic key now is much more viable and much better and rabbits are now uncommon instead of common and have effect permanently gives two more coins after giving coins ten times 
pretty pretty neat and I mean at the moment they were pretty crazy but let's talk about why they were made as Dan has uh, suggested why the reasons. The change to the empty symbols effectively make it so there's room for an off-screen non-empty symbol to appear when there's an empty symbol could. The game would make it so non-empty always appear on screen. This will not only reduce frustration, it will make counting out empty symbols in the inventory easier. Make it harder to lose in the early stages of the game and reduce unfun randomness, which I have said. Hooray! Ancient Lizard Blade has been tweaked again to provide power, one could expect from a very rare. Like I said, not going to touch it still, it's just, I mean, I would if I have to, but hey. Holy Water makes hexes give an additional coin lord to make the item more in line with a rare item as well as provide the additional incentives to be added to one's inventory if a player doesn't want to disable the effects of hexes. There we go, so I mean that makes sense. Um, the changes of rabbits and lint roller item are to make bills with rabbits more viable. Making a rabbit an uncommon symbol would make it synergize more effectively with a lucky carrot and golden items. There we go, that's a good reasoning behind it. As a, yeah, if you were to get too lucky it would become, you know, it's a common and it would go away because you'd have to just do tediums and stuff like that. Red peppers had its trigger value increased in order to make its hard to achieve effect more rewarding. Oh, very nice. Shattered mirror has had its trigger value increased in order to make the items average coins per spin more powerful. Okay, now I've figured out why they were the money. And a time machine affecting golem and frozen fossils was primarily added since players were expecting these symbols to synergize anyway. So that, I mean, it explains everything when it comes down to it. Void Portal, while still powerful at late stages of the game, was a bit lackluster for a rare and when they play initial game. That's why they've dropped it down, so early game potential makes more sense. Changes to Zaroff's Contract and Bounty Hunters uh, to make Bounty Hunter Heavy Builds more a viable strategy. Yep, okay, I never have them, so we can try that. Beehive no longer produces bees because I moaned at it. It was a detriment to a player. You can't do anything about it. Now we, now we can. And yes, billionaires do not drop spirits because they don't have souls. And the Eldritch creatures were the same reason as the time machine changes due to the fact that they should probably synergize anyway. And Magic Key has had a value multiplier because of the drought of lockboxes safes. All in all, quite a wonderful thing. And then some bug fixes that I will not talk about. So, on to the symbols. There are four new symbols as suggested, a one common, one uncommon, and two rare. The common symbol is a present. This can be opened slash destroyed by a toddler, and upon destroying it, it will give you 10 coins. If there are no toddlers around, it will destroy itself after 12 turns anyway to give you some money. The uncommon symbol that there is is now a void fruit, like all other forms of void symbols, like the void uh, creatures and the void stones it will give you extra coins for any empty squares adjacent if it has no empty squares adjacent to it it will destroy itself it can be eaten by things that eat fruit and it can be multiplied by things that multiply fruit the final are two rare symbols um, there is the amethyst and the pear as I already have one on my screen I'm going to lump them together because they act in the same way they will give you one coin at the start and then any time it will give you make it give additional coins via multiplicatives or any other way that you can give it extra money it will gain a permanent boost to itself so you can see here a couple of times now in the screen above you i mean above you in front of you the pair itself has got up a couple of times due to the fact that the arrow has hit it and multiplied it this works for both the amethyst and the pair the amethyst is a gem it can be attained via ores and everything else which will make um which will make time machine and x-ray and all the other stuff probably work really good and then same with having fertilizer even if you have compost deep which i have compost deep right now this build would probably be pretty ridiculous so there's two new items. The items are, I'm pretty sure it's a lime pepper, which I have on the right side of my screen right there. It's a common. Uh, it gives you money every time you reroll. Uh, very nice stuff. We didn't have that previously. And then the other one is to the left of my screen. You see the little piece of paper there with paws on it. And that is the adoption papers. Breaking that will give you the choice of like a lunchbox, but for creatures. You can even get sea pickles in there. So absolutely amazing stuff. That is all that's new for the new content. Like I said, I'm not going to get into the bug fixes. Um, however, honestly, this huge patch, we were waiting around four weeks for it. Uh, I'm super excited. There looks to be lots more things that we can synergize with, lots more fun things that we can do. Um, yeah, let me know what your favorite part of the, the content patch is. Uh, what kind of new builds would you like to see? What kind of things are you thinking up in your head already? I am already in my brain working on the bees. 
not the bees, the bears. The bears and the honey, uh, getting something with that as a 10% change, so it's gonna constantly spam honey. Having the bears and the, the bear item, and then also having a uh, conveyor belt, or something like that, with some silly amounts of arrows, is gonna be a lot of fun. However, that's all from me. I'm going to let this one little run out. Um, as you can see here, I clearly crushed the game, as always. Wonderful stuff. You got it at 150% speed. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, like, subscribe, and comment, and all that good stuff. You'll be seeing plenty more luck be allowing all stuff due to the patch coming up and giving us some more things. This game is still in early access. If you want it, it's in the link below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, and goodbye!